What's up guys, Jolly Wolf King here. Welcome to the first official video of my new channel. Christmas has passed by and now we've entered 2019. Now, I'm a huge comic book fan and I like to indulge in my fair share of video games. So I was over the moon when I was playing the Batman Arkham games. I mean, merging my love of video games and comics together? It was like a match made in heaven. I honestly could not believe that there would be another superhero game that tops those three <laughs> masterpieces. Yeah, I said three! But that all changed when we finally got the best Spider-Man game since Spider-Man PS2! <laughs> no! Not that one! I'm talking about the one on PS4! No! Oh god, no! <sighs> I get sick just thinking about the dumpster fire. Oh, 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 that's so much better. Oh, it's beautiful. I've only been playing the new Spider-Man game for a couple weeks now, but I'm already hooked. Both Spider-Man PS4 and the Arkham games were phenomenal and ushered in a golden renaissance of actually good comic book games. So after the success of those games, I believe that there are superheroes who deserve equally good games in their own right. And what better superhero who deserves his own game than the man without fear, Daredevil. Especially of all times. As I'm very distraught to say guys, on the 29th of November 2018, Netflix canceled the Daredevil series after a brilliant third season! Come on Netflix! You gotta cancel the anime trash that is Neo Yokio, but no, you just canceled your best Marvel show! If Daredevil doesn't get the Brooklyn Nine-Nine treatment, then the character deserves to live on in his own game. So in this video, I'll be mainly looking upon the vile ingredients in making the Daredevil game uh, he deserves. I'll be mainly focusing upon three categories. Character, gameplay, and acting. For inspiration, I'll be mainly drawing upon various games, TV shows, and films, which will then serve as the framework for the game's fundamental aspects, such as the combat, customization options, and style and tone. Let's get to know the man first. Daredevil was created by none other than the late Stan Lee, RIP, and Bill Everett. Daredevil's real name is Matthew Murdock, or Matt for short. Matt was raised by his boxer father, Jack Murdock in a neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen. After saving an old man from being run over, Matt's eyes were doused in a radioactive liquid. Consequently, his eyesight was taken away, but his four remaining senses were enhanced to superhuman levels. His enhanced senses provides Matt with a sonar-like interpretation of his surroundings. Jack was unfortunately killed by gangsters after refusing to throw a fight. Matt has since dedicated his life to finding the criminals of Hell's Kitchen. While working as a lawyer with his best friend Foggy Nelson, aside from being an accomplished lawyer, Daredevil is a master martial artist, acrobat, and stick fighter, utilizing his trademark billy clubs. Initially, he wore a yellow, black, and red suit. <laughs> Look at it. Before transitioning to his iconic red suit seen today, Daredevil made his live-action debut in the television movie The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, portrayed by Rex Smith. Batman alumni Ben Affleck then donned the red leather suit in the 2003 movie, which was released to uh, less than stellar reviews. Charlie Cox is the most recent actor to play the Devils of Hell's Kitchen in the eponymously named Netflix series. That really deserves another season! His most infamous foes are the crime lord Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin, and the unstable assassin Bullseye. Daredevil's love life is complicated, but his two most notable love interests are Electra Nachos and Karen Page. Alright, character dossier is over, let's move on to the gameplay. Now let's first establish the style and tone of Daredevil's game, since the gameplay should accurately represent their game's genre slash tone. Survival horror games are slow and tense. While first person shooters are loud and thrilling! Whoa! I feel the adrenaline rush, baby! The Netflix series nailed the gritty, dark tone of the 80s comics while modernizing it for today. So it's no surprise the game's tone will be similar to the Netflix series. 
If there's one thing potential developers need to get right, it's the combat. Daredevil's mastery over martial arts is such a defining character trait. I mean, he is one of the best fighters in the Marvel Universe. So I believe the combat system from the Batman Arkham games would be perfect for a Daredevil game. Yes, it is a very derivative choice. You see the system in many games today. Shadow Mordor, Spider-Man PS4, Mad Max. But I just can't deny that it would fit so well in a Daredevil game. What made the Arkham games' combat such a success was in its simplicity. With each button mapped out to a certain action. One to strike, one to counter, one to evade, etc. Easy to learn, difficult to master. And Daredevil's enhanced senses make him hyper aware of any incoming attacks. So the counter button in particular fits so well. What I adore most about this system in the Batman Arkham games is that it really made you feel like you are Batman. Which is something all video games should aspire to, to immerse the players in the character's shoes. Now I'd actually see Daredevil's combat looking similar to the one in the Mad Max game. Mad Max's combat just looks and Ew, so realistic. Max delivers a devastating combination of boxing punches, Muay Thai knees, kicks, and those oh so satisfying takedowns. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. The raw, brutal nature of Mad Max's combat is a perfect match with Daredevil's dark, gritty tone. The combat will need to be toned down considerably since Daredevil doesn't kill people. A Daredevil game would be a great opportunity to incorporate some awesome finishers found in pro wrestling. Considering both Max and Daredevil have utilized common pro wrestling moves. The suplex. The drop kick. And the body slam. <laughs> and why not include this awesome kick too? Obviously you need to have Daredevil fighting with his billy clubs. For combat inspiration, look no further than Nightwing's gameplay in the Arkham games. As shown, Nightwing is highly proficient in stick fighting, like Daredevil. The way Nightwing leaps across the floor, delivering a series of hits from his twin sticks, that just screams Daredevil. Stealth can also be an option for players wanting to go the quieter path, and I can't deny I see similarities in Daredevil's sonar sense with the Arkham games' detective vision. With Daredevil's sonar sense, players can detect enemies through walls, and then formulate a strategy to silently take them out. Exploration! Right off the bat, I see the game as an open world sandbox. I mean, how awesome would it be to parkour around Hell's Kitchen as Daredevil? Speaking of parkour, I can definitely see the free running system like the one in the Assassin's Creed series. Yes, in the earlier games, the parkour system can get clunky. I raged out a few times. But what I really appreciated about Assassin's Creed parkour system is just, it's just so grounded in realism. The attention to detail Ubisoft generated into the buildings, it just made the parkour system feel so much more realistic. Daredevil's Billy Club has a steel cable built into its design, which then turns it into a grappling hook. In game, the grappling hook would open up amazing traversal opportunities. Now. You may think the web sling in Spider-Man PS4 is a great inspiration source, but I actually believe Catwoman's parkour style from Batman Arkham City fits Daredevil better. Just the way she clings her whip onto buildings, then uses the momentum to swing across, it reminds me so much of Daredevil when reading the comics. For world design, I've been exploring Spider-Man PS4's depiction of Hell's Kitchen, and I gotta commend Exonia Games, they've already made a great sandbox environment for Daredevil. Buildings are not too large, so they're easily scalable. Hell's Kitchen offers varied locations, such as the docks, construction sites, and neon lights. However, my biggest concern is Hell's Kitchen may be too small to be a game world. It's possible, but it just may cause exploration fatigue too early. For example, Batman Arkham City's map is quite small, so when I was exploring the map, I just got tired gliding past the same courthouse over and over again. If Daredevil's game is only set in Hell's Kitchen, then developers would need to wall off the rest of Manhattan. Customization! I love in Spider-Man PS4 that the suits you unlock all belong in the Spider-Man canon. Furthermore, each suit grants you a new ability such as bullet protection, a shockwave blast, or calling a little drone for assistance. Oh, look at the little guy, look at him go. 
The vigilante suit and the red armor from the Netflix series had become staples of the Daredevil mythos, so it'd be insane to not include them. In Season 3, Matt wraps Muay Thai robes around his arms to increase his striking power. In game, the vigilante suit would grant players with more powerful strikes at the cost of armor protection. The Black Shadowlands suit can be ideal for stealth scenarios, while the 90s armor suit with its metal platings is effective against blades and bullets. As for the original yellow suit, um, it's a good homage to the earlier comics, but I just feel that the bright yellow colors would detract from the game's serious tone. But we still got the iconic red suit, Daredevil 299, and the Ben Affleck suit, acting! If you're gonna bring these characters to life, you gotta find the right actors. Firstly, Daredevil. Charlie Cox was phenomenal as Daredevil, and I honestly can't see anyone else in the role. But I'm confident Brian Bloom can deliver an amazing Daredevil performance. Again, yes, Brian Bloom actually voiced Daredevil in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 and Marvel Heroes. But I feel his performance in Marvel Heroes is the better of the two. Here, listen. Hell's Kitchen. All I want is for this city to breathe free. Free of corruption. Free of crime. But the streets of this city are crawling with low lives. Costume criminals run rampant. But everywhere I turn, something like that happens. That stone cold delivery and that deep voice. Oh, he would make the criminals of Hell's Kitchen wet themselves. He masterfully and impeccably emulates Daredevil's brutal nature towards criminals. Brian Bloom has betrayed many different characters. Brian Bloom's impressive resume playing different characters makes me confident that he can betray both Murdoch and Daredevil. Another important casting decision is Wilson Kingpin Fisk. And I can definitely see Clancy Brown nailing the role. With his natural deep voice, Clancy Brown is usually cast as villains. With his roles as Lex Luthor, Mr. Sinister, Surtur, Mr. Freeze, Rhino, Yakon, Gunmar, and Hades as great examples. Clancy Brown has such an impressive acting range too. As Mr. Sinister, he's calm, collected, sophisticated, but still manages to sound menacing. <laughs> Xavier's prize student, the teacher's pet. If only he could see you now, so angry, so unwilling to think. You dare come after me? As if Sinister was the name of a common thug you could intimidate? As Hades, he's a raging behemoth. <laughs> Your pain is my pleasure. Will make me stronger. Traits most common to Kingpin, and Clancy Brown has already demonstrated them beautifully. Finally, I would love to see Camilla Luddington, aka Lara Croft, as Karen Page. Karen Page has the most emotionally intense arc in Daredevil, an arc worthy of a video game adaptation. After her performance as Lara Croft, Camilla Luddington is more than capable to tackle an emotionally demanding role like Paige. Actually, I can pinpoint a few similarities between Karen and Lara. Both have strained relationships with their fathers, both have suffered through many traumatic events in their lives, yet they both still keep persisting always moving forward, staying true to their values. We've reached the end of the video! So that's basically everything I hope to see in a Daredevil game. In honest opinion guys, I'd still be happy if the game was in an Arkham inspired sandbox, as long as it respects the character. What do you guys hope to see in a Daredevil game? Got any actors in mind for the characters? Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, please hit that red subscribe button down below. Alright guys, Jolly Wolf King is signing out for today. You can catch me again in my next video, which will be coming out in the next fortnight.